We've already lost enough. That's how many high school seniors feel after Governor Northam canceled classes for the rest of the school year. They don't know what will happen to their graduation. So how do you think high schoolers should handle it? Answer at 13newsnow.com slash vote or on our app. For now, reporter Nico Clemens shows us one student's effort to save graduation. There is something we can do now, and that's why I started the petition. Jennifer Tisdale is a senior at Jamestown High School in James City County. Her favorite subject? Definitely art. It's yeah. what I want to do in college, and I've always loved it. Tisdale is headed to the Savannah College of Art and Design in the fall to study production design. While she's ready to begin the next chapter of her life, she wants to put a proper close on the current one. Tisdale and her classmates already lost prom and senior picnic, and now they're worried they're in danger of losing a traditional graduation. It's the last time we're going to be able to see everyone before we leave for college. Tisdale started a petition to have a traditional graduation ceremony. In just 24 hours, the petition has close to 200 signatures. That shows to me that a lot of other people want the same thing. Right now, the school division is exploring different graduation options, including virtual celebrations. This week, the school division sent a survey to seniors and their parents. Division leaders want to get their thoughts about potential virtual celebrations and delayed in-person ceremonies. Tisdale says that they've already lost enough, and they won't let this opportunity slip by without letting the school board know how they feel. If officials see that a lot of people in the public want this, then, I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to reflect what the people want, and, and so I think that it could do a lot of good. She's hopeful their voices are heard and that they'll have the opportunity to say goodbye the right way. In James City County, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.